Hey everybody, and welcome to the first installment on the Watch Family YouTube channel. Tonight we're going to be taking a quick look at this Tony Kanan Limited Edition Luminox. But before we get started, I just want to say a quick thank you uh, for watching, whether you're watching at home, at work, on a tablet, on a cell phone, or even on a tugboat. I appreciate you guys tuning in. And what we're going to try to do every week is show a different watch, get some information out, and expose people to different brands and different styles that A, they may not even know exist, and B, may have some different questions about. Tonight, it's going to be this Luminox. It is a limited edition. Only 999 were made. Uh, this one happens to be number 301. The case is 316L steel with this wonderful carbon fiber inlaid on both sides of the watch. The bezel material is ceramic and your crystal is sapphire. So your whole front is scratch resistant. One of the unique things about this watch is the case shape and the dial material it is actually a white enamel dial which was the first time luminox ever did that uh, it is a swiss made watch they use the ronda 5050 b movement it is a quartz chronograph and it is a 44 millimeter case to me it wears a lot bigger it wears more like a 46 millimeter watch. I usually like bigger watches, 47 to 50, um, but this wears every bit as big as a 46. For me, this was a watch that I wanted for a long time. When I first got into watch collecting, um, God, almost a year ago, I saw this in a watch magazine and I just really fell in love with the unique look of it. And I immediately jumped online. I went to a few Luminox dealers, and everybody had it for the same price. It was $1,400, period, no negotiating. And at that time, being a new collector, it was just a little bit too, too high for me. Fast forward a few months later, uh, playing on worldofwatches.com, clicked on the Luminox section, and they had two of these. And instead of being $1,400, they were $899. And at that price, I, I couldn't resist. I had to try it. And I'm really glad I did. The only thing for me that would be a drawback is the silicone strap is nice and comfortable, but it's just a little plain. You know, there was also a leather strap version, which they were out of. And the leather strap was a little, um, a little dressier, a little nicer. Yeah, I wish I would have uh, gotten that. But, hey, if that's the only negative to the watch, I, I can always buy a leather strap later on. For me, um, you know, this whole watch collecting thing is so unique and so cool because there's no wrong way to do it. No matter what you want to collect, no matter what you like, it's, it's, just, a, it, it's just a wonderful hobby. You know, a lot of times you'll have people who collect stamps or baseball cards, and it's all about making money and collecting the most expensive one. But with watches, it, it's more of design and style and, and, and what you find attractive. You know, I have a lot of friends who just collect one brand, or they'll just collect one model in one brand. And like I said before, the whole point of these videos is just to get the word out on some brands you may not even know about. So going forward, if there's any brands you want to see, um, if there's anything you want to ask about a brand, you know, leave a comment. If there's anything you want to see in future videos um, or, or talked about more in future videos, leave a comment. Like I said, this being the, the first one, it's more of a trial run. Hopefully we can tweak and make things better as we go. So for now, that's it. You know, leave a comment. So, you know, whatever you want to see in the future, we'll try to accommodate. 
and I hope everybody has a great weekend.